The Kwamis are the driving force that makes Miraculous Ladybug possible. Without them, the heroes and villains wouldn't have the incredible powers to create, destroy, and empower others. The Kwamis don't need their holders to use their wide range of abilities, making them some of the strongest creatures in their universe. However, some Kwamis are more influential and powerful than others, and in today's video, we're reviewing the Kwamis from their weakest to their strongest. Ladybug has hopes that you will defeat Akari Gozen with panache, using the element of your choosing, wind, water, or lightning. Number 21, Waze. As the Kwame of Protection, Waze can protect himself and those around him. His ability, Shelter, is purely defense to ward off various attacks. In episodes like Miracle Queen, it holds up for several minutes against a Senta monster's continuous attacks. If Shelter were to be used by Waze, it wouldn't help him in a one-to-one -one fight, but its threshold and radius would likely be leagues stronger than when used by a wielder. It's the rule of the Guardians. Their memory gets erased when they pass on the box to protect the secret identities of the Miraculous Holders. Number 20, Bark. Bark has a power suitable for a dog as her super ability Fetch allows her to retrieve anything she touches. Fetch is incredibly versatile, as it would make her adept at stealing or stealth. In Strike Back, Felix shows this by taking an akumatized object from Risk and stealing Ladybug's yo-yo without her noticing. The power may not be proficient in combat, but it's quick, efficient, and can help out with any opponent. Hi, I'm Bark, the Kwame of Adoration. I'm so happy to have a new holder. You and I can play ball. All you have to say is Bark on the hunt. Number 19, Stomp. In a literal sense, Stomp is the strongest Kwame in the Chinese Miracle Box. He can make himself and his holders invulnerable to other attacks and superpowers. Any attacks from his enemy would bounce off, leaving him able to stand in a fight longer than other Kwamis. However, his power only extends to himself, making him a personal battering ram. Hi, I'm Stomp. Let's add some muscle to this game. What if I hurt someone using my superpowers? Number 18, Pollen. As paralyzing as an ordinary bee sting, Pollen has the power to immobilize others. The Bee Miraculous has helped the heroes and villains throughout the series as it can stop anyone in their tracks. Pollen doesn't need to be extremely strong because Venom can save her in dire situations, like how Vesperia used it to keep herself, Ladybug, and Cat Noir from Boom Boom in Queen Banana. You have only one thing to say, my queen. Pollen buzz on! Number 17, Ziggy. To have the power that Ziggy does, she would need to be very creative. Like the Ladybug Miraculous, the Goat Miraculous allows their wielder to create any object they want. That means Ziggy could make something to solve any problem, provided she already has a solution in mind. Capra Kid does this in Penalty, tricking Penalty with a magic wand. Hi, I'm your Kwame, Ziggy! Number 16, Daisy. A joyful gift comes with the Pig Miraculous, and Daisy's soft personality shines through with her power. To show someone their deepest desires, a gift allows Daisy to show someone what they want in life which can bring someone happiness in times of tragedy or help de-escalate a dangerous situation. Pigella does the same by showing an akumatized Julika her gift and guilt trip. What's your name? My name's Daisy, and I'm your Kwame. They'll give you your powers. You just have to recite these words. Daisy, rejoice! Number 15, Kalki. Kalki's power isn't something to dismiss as it's practical on and off the battlefield. Voyage allows Kalki to travel anywhere, transport others, and move objects. In the episode Optigami, she must use her powers numerous times to help Ladybug and Rena Rouge navigate around Style Queen when she's enclosed them inside an impenetrable building. I am not a horse, I am a nimble steed. I was the companion to the most glorious heroes. Number 14, Shupo. Shupo's power is unpredictable, wild, and impossible to see coming. It's unique in the way that it can disrupt others. Uproar allows him to summon an object that he can throw at another person, causing their abilities to become temporarily broken or out of control. He can prevent anyone from using their skills against him. The first time King Monkey uses this power in Party Crasher, he frees captives from the villain's gauntlets. Aw, Flying Monkey plushie! I'm no plushie, my name's Shupu, you nitwit! <laughs> Number 13, Mulo. Sometimes the strongest heroes are where you least expect them, and Mulo can be everyone at once. Her ability to multiply herself can create an army of Kwamis, all with the same power. Mulo can make as many of herself as she needs, creating a team capable of helping her through any situation. The heroes utilize this skill in Mega Leech, when Maledictator and Ascent Monster make thousands of clones and take over Paris. <laughs> Mulo, that's not nice. Number 12, Leary. Leary hasn't had much screen time in the series, but he has a significant role in Miraculous World New York, the only Kwame shown from the Native American Miracle Box. Leary's power can assist someone in reaching their fullest potential. Sometimes fear can hold even the bravest heroes back, but Leary's liberation can free them from any emotional or mental restrictions, putting them at their best. However, in the hands of someone evil, a person could lose moral codes, making them more dangerous and uncontrolled than ever. Hello, fledgling! All you have to say is, Leary, Wings of Liberty! Leary, Wings of Liberty! Number 11, Roar. 
Sometimes heroes need brute force to help them save the day, and Roar is the Kwame to help them achieve it. Clout is impressive, as its stored energy could allow Roar to blast people away, create craters in the ground, or destroy massive objects. Purple Tigress showcases only a small portion of what Roar can do when she uses Clout in Crocodile to help take down two villains alongside Ladybug and Cat Noir. I still can't hear you! Come on, is that all you got? Number 10. Tricks Some Kwamis receive more screen time than others, and Trix is one of the Kwamis who gets to showcase their abilities personally. His ability to create illusions matches his cunning and coy personality. The mirages are so believable that Trix can fool his occasional wielder, as Alya fails to recognize that the marionette she chases in Gang of Secrets is an illusion. Number 9. Long A peculiar Kwame among the rest, Long is unique in more ways than one. Most Kwamis in the Miracle Box represent themselves as modern-day animals. Long is an exception, being the only mythical creature among his fellow Kwamis. Perhaps due to his origins as a dragon, Long has three distinct powers that allow him to control the elements of a storm. These three powers help him to stay in a prolonged battle, much like Ryuko in episodes like Akari Gozen, who can use all three powers before transforming back. Greetings, young lady, and good day to you. Fear not, I am Long the Dragon Kwame. Number 8. Oriko With an ability like Oriko's, it's hard to imagine why the Rooster Miraculous was kept dormant for so long. His power allows him to give himself any skill, and with something so versatile at his disposal, he could find a solution no matter the problem. In Penalty, Rooster Bold uses Oriko's powers to make him excellent at scoring goals in soccer, which helps the heroes defeat Penalty. Number 7. Sass As the unspoken leader of the Kwame, Sass's wisdom must match his strengths. His ability allows him to have immeasurable second chances. He can reverse time continuously until he finds the right combination to turn a situation in his favor. Sass gets the opportunity to do so in Ephemeral, when Shadow Moth successfully steals the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses. To prevent their enemy from rewriting the universe, he reverses time. In doing so, he helps the heroes correct the timeline. You can't, but I can. I can go back to any temporal marker that has been placed in the past. Number 6. Fluff Time travel is a tricky power to navigate, as one wrong move could result in the collapse of a timeline, or the creation of an entirely new one. Fluff can travel through time at will, allowing her to witness the fall of civilizations or the creation of new ones. She can alter the course of history, although she would likely take on the same watchful role as Bunnix. As explained in Time Tagger, the flow of time is very delicate and must be preserved. What time will it be yesterday? Is it tomorrow already? When it'll be the day after tomorrow, it will have been yesterday again! That miraculous seems so powerful. How come we don't use it more often? Number 5. Nuru One of the Kwamis who has their powers used and abused is Nuru. He can transmit abilities to other people, allowing them to become someone entirely new. In the series, this transmission occurs when Gabriel creates akumatized villains to help him combat the heroes. Nuru could practically give anyone powers, and the limit to what those powers could be is endless. Where do you think you're going, Nuru? I just wanted to go out. Number 4. Tiki Much like Ziggy and the Goat Miraculous, Tiki can create anything. But instead of deciding what that object is, her lucky charms are in the universe's hands. There are some perks to the unpredictable nature of her powers, which we witness every time Ladybug summons a lucky charm in battle. The object she gains always helps her save the day. The same goes for Tiki. In Deflagration, she creates a lucky charm that helps Marinette and the Resistance defeat Monarch. I'm sure we didn't make a mistake. We're going to have to find new holders. We don't know how Monarch did it, hmm? but we do know that he doesn't know who Ladybug and Cat Noir are. Number 3. Plague. Plague's abilities are undeniably some of the strongest of the Kwamis, and we get to see and hear about their effects more than any other. Plague is notorious for creating natural disasters when he uses his cataclysm. In Style Queen, Master Fu credits Plague with two accounts of mass extinction, including the destruction of the dinosaurs and the sinking of Atlantis. Plague also uses his abilities more than once on screen, including the time he destroys his miraculous in deflagration. I'm ridiculous. You're not. You were fantastic. What you did in the cafeteria was heroic, and you weren't even wearing a superhero suit. Number 2. Dusu Dusu has very little screen time compared to her fellow Kwamis, but her powers are unparalleled when put side by side with her fellow celestial creatures. With the Peacock Miraculous, someone can create and control a life. The most notable example of this is Adrian Agrest. As the secondary main character, he spends every episode at the beck and call of his father. And for five seasons, we were none the wiser. The truth about his origins doesn't come to light until representation, showing how realistic and genuine Dusu's creations could be. It's so sad. The reason we're doing this, Dusu, is because we're hoping for a happy ending. Then it's wonderful! Are you ready? Number 1. Gimme The strongest Kwame in the series comes from the unification of two others. 
In recreation, Gabriel finally obtains the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses, forcing Tiki and Plague to unify. Together they become a massive cosmic being named Gimme, the Kwame of reality. The full extent of Gimme's power is unknown, but they can rewrite the universe, changing one thing in favor of another. You humans only ever summon me to complain, never to rejoice. There is only one thing I wish to change. There's no end to what the Kwamis can do, from fetching an object to changing the fabric of space and time. They are some of the most powerful creatures in the Miraculous Ladybug universe. In five seasons, they have helped the forces of good and evil, as they've done for centuries since their original creation. With each Kwame with a purpose and specific skill set, they will continue to influence Ladybug and Cat Noir, no matter what new adventures lie ahead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Whoa, I'm getting major deja vu right now. It's time to have a genius idea, my lady. Lucky shot!